we are looking at middle and inner ear. If I take these two models apart and show them one at a time, we can break them down a little bit. So from this view, we have the lateral side of our tympanic membrane, the lateral side of our eardrum. So this is what leads out to your ear canal. If we flip it around and we now look at the medial side, we are in the middle ear at this point. This would be the medial side of the tympanic membrane. And here you can start to see the auditory ossicles. Malleus, the mallet or the hammer. Incus, incus is the anvil. Again, you can think of the mallet hitting the anvil. And this point of incus right here is going to touch with stapes. And this is right, right where they touch. Oh, stapes, I love you so much. Why didn't they put you on this side of the model? <laughs> this right here is where that articulation takes place. So malleus incus, and then here, of course, we have stapes. Stapes is the stirrup. And stapes sits right on the oval window. The oval window, of course, leads into this structure which is the vestibule. On one side of the vestibule, we have the cochlea. On the other side of the vestibule, we have the semicircular canals. If you look closely within the semicircular canals, you can see the semicircular ducts in blue. Again, we've got fluid moving through here. If we look on this side of the vestibule, like I mentioned a moment ago, we have the cochlea. So this is the base of the cochlea and that base goes round and round and round all the way to the apex. And if we actually disassemble this, if we take it apart, you can imagine malleus, incus, and now stapes vibrating on the oval window and those vibrations you can almost imagine them moving all the way through, round and round and round, all the way to the apex of the cochlea, and then coming back round and round and round, all the way to the base, and vibrating the structure right here. This is the round window. Two other structures you can see on this are specifically the nerve supplies that come to this region. So we have the vestibular branch, we have the cochlear branch, which gives us the vestibulocochlear nerve, or cranial nerve number eight, the vestibulocochlear nerve. 